Happy Tuesday. It's Book Talk Tuesday and it's Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas to you. I hope you're spending time with your family and the people that you love and enjoy being around, your friends, and just really appreciating what you have um, and not really wanting a whole bunch of things that's just stuff and you're just appreciating the people you're with. Um, I'm getting ready to celebrate with some of my family. Uh, I have a stack of books I was going to share with you, but then um, as I was cleaning up upstairs, I decided I should share with you some of my favorite Christmas stories that I love to read. Um, of course, there's The Grinch and The Night Before Christmas. Those are favorites that I've always had, but then I have a few that maybe you don't know about. So I, I am a huge fan of Olivia the Pig. I've always been a fan of Olivia. Uh, and this Christmas one is super fun to read aloud, super fun to read aloud. So um, you might want to pick up some Christmas books at the library this summer or go dig through your books and find some old picture books that you haven't read in a while because they are treasures. Picture books are treasures and we miss out on them if we just let them collect dust. Um, how Murray Saved Christmas is by Mike Rice. I Maybe, I don't know if that's how you say his name or not, but anyway, uh, this is really better for older kids like, you know, fourth grade and up, fifth grade and up. Uh, it's just a fun Christmas story about um, Santa gets knocked out by a toy and he can't um, deliver any packages. So the elf that made the mistake and knocked him out feels like he has to help and he's really not um, good at that. Anyway, it's fun. And also there's another one I just read uh, last week maybe called Santa Claustrophobia. And it's by the same author and it's about um, Santa is getting bigger and bigger every year and he's very worried that he's going to get stuck in a uh, chimney and so somebody the doc holiday the doctor in town tells him you know you really probably just need a vacation well that was like three days before christmas or something which was now somebody else is going to have to try and pick up the slack um and that also is not going well not the elf it's it's different different situation this one is one of my absolute favorites my penguin osbert I don't, I think I discovered this just by sitting in a bookstore one day and reading through Christmas books. And I'm pretty sure there's another Osbert one about uh, maybe when he falls in love or something. I can't remember. But Osbert, uh, this kid wants a um, penguin for Christmas. And he's really concerned because he keeps asking Santa for things and Santa keeps getting it wrong. And, well, not wrong. They just, there's a miscommunication. And so this year, this kid is very specific about what he wants for Christmas and where this penguin should come from and what his name should be. And then when he gets it, um, having a penguin in your house is not uh, all that you think it's going to be because, you know, they live in Antarctica. Anyway, I hope that you will share some Christmas stories with your friends and family. Um, if you have littles, you can read these stories to them. If you have little brothers and sisters in your house, or read to your dog. Um, and if you have some favorite ones, share them with me because I always like to hear about good Christmas stories. You have a Merry Christmas and enjoy the, your time with your family.